Here is the basic overview of Keen Building Products Drywall Rain Screen 020 and Drywall Rain Screen 10mm installation. Before you begin, make sure to inspect the surface and ensure it is complete with good building practices and meets all local code requirements. Install a building paper or flashing according to manufacturer's recommendation. Ensure the wall is free from structural defects, that any membranes or flashing are properly installed, and that the final system will have a path for moisture to escape from the bottom of the wall. Drywall rain screen 020-1 comes in a 48 inch wide by 65 feet long roll, equaling 260 square feet. Starting at the bottom of the wall, position the first piece of drywall rain screen, fabrics facing out, where the bottom edge of the stone will meet the drywall weep screen. Trim drywall rain screen around all penetrations, windows and doors. Drywall rain screen can be mechanically fastened with a cap nail, cap staple, or cap screw. Attach one fastener for each square foot. Do not fasten through flashing. Note, when installing over concrete or block backup walls that do not accept mechanical fasteners, hold in place with small dabs of glue every two feet. Seam adjacent drywall rain screen piece with the selvage edge overlapping the top of the lower piece. Following the stone manufacturer's recommendations and guidelines, install an expanded metal lath over the drywall rain screen. Apply scratch coat and install manufactured or thin set stone. Note: Guidelines should include a weave method for ventilation. Installers can use drywall rain screen 020-1 or drywall rain screen 10mm for manufactured stone, thin set natural stone, stucco, fiber cement siding, wood siding, and shingles. Installers can use any drywall rain screen product for brick and natural stone. For complete installation instructions, please visit keenbuilding.com.